What's up, weirdos? My name's Cooper, and I am a registered hater of ugly and dumb stupid husbands. You put a husband in front of me that's icky, I'm gonna hate him. And these guys have one wife and are icky and dumb. Okay, but let me get real for a second, because there was a video of a husband that went viral recently. The woman who posted this video, his wife, Brianna, she goes by The Mama Brianna, and she's like a, uh, a family vlogger. Which, first of all, I have my own feelings on family vloggers. I think that it is weird, can be exploitative, bad for the kids, and annoying. Annoying. Exploitative and bad for the kids and stuff, whatever, but mainly annoying. <laughs> And her whole account is just showing like a day in the life of a stay-at-home mom. And she shows all the work that she does, her routine, all of her cleaning, all of her chores. And occasionally we get a special appearance from her husband, who is an Avengers level threat to women's happiness across the world. He is what I would describe as an iPad baby who is also 50 years old and has no drip. Let's go ahead and watch the first video, like the viral one, and just give you a taste of this jerk. Sorry, I'm gonna be writing hard for the mom on this one. It's not that serious, I'm just, you'll see. First of all, can I just say, my husband didn't eat the dinner that I made, dot dot dot. Oh, I'm sorry, aren't you raising his children? Aren't you literally holding his house down? Aren't you the stability, the foundation of his life? And oh, you went through all this effort to make a meal for him. You went out and you cooked a meal for him and he didn't eat it? By the way, pal, suck it up. If you don't like the taste, suck it up. That's your wife. Okay, we haven't even got to him yet. Okay, let's just uh, break this down really quick. If I don't feed him, he literally won't eat. Then she says, this used to irritate me. Meaning that, you know, she's not irritated by his jerkness anymore. Meaning that it happens so much, it would be wasting her mental focus to be irritated by it. Here's the thing, Mama Brianna. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna throw a little thing out there for you. If you don't feed him, he literally won't eat. When you feed him a meal he doesn't like, and he doesn't eat it, then he's just gonna go hungry that night. Cause you went through the effort, you cooked it, you cooked it. What is he gonna be picky about this shit or something? No, he doesn't get to be picky. You went through all that effort. I'm heated right now and it probably feels unjustified, but just wait till we get to the clip of him. Look at how nice she is. She's just like smiling at the camera like, oh, look at this, oh, my little husband. By the way, I had to edit out the music that was playing in this, but it's Megan Trainer's mother. And as that part goes, it's the, uh, I am your mother. You listen to me. She's saying, I blame his mother for not making him eat salmon because now he won't eat salmon. So it's his mom's fault, not his fault for being a little icky boy. By the way, salmon is great for you. It has a lot of omega-3 fatty acids, which are really great for brain development. And maybe that's what he's missing out on. Maybe if he didn't have such a little pea brain, he would respect his wife. That's your wife. I don't even have one wife and he has one and he's him. What I'm saying is she is a wonderful person who is basically his mother and she knows that. And it's just like, oh, it's cute. It's not cute. That's a grown ass man. Now, who wants to see this grown ass man? Look her in the eyes, tell her how much you love her, apologize for not eating that salmon, and beg her for forgiveness. Not, not, you little baby B-I-T-C-H. That is an iPad baby right there with a lack of hair to go along with it. This is what a person who loves their wife's hair would look like. When you stop looking your wife in the eye, when you stop apologizing for every mistake you make, when you stop eating the salmon that she cooks for your dog ass, that's when your follicles start to pop out. That's when your follicles start to shrivel up. I know I'm going too hard. You can't watch this clip with without feeling so icky. Dude, she cooked you a meal. You said you didn't want it anymore. So she went back there and cooked another meal for you. And all you have to say is, and then you pout, you sit there pouting. See how he freezes at the end of that video? Sit there pouting. <laughs> Now, uh, how do you think that this video was received? Do you think that people said, what a wonderful wife you are? A little bit, but mainly it was, what a horrible husband he is. Praise God for that. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> oh, now I know what people mean when they refer to the ick. Yes, this is the video that I would send to anybody who's like, uh, the ick, I don't really get that. It's when somebody's nice to you. No, like a version of the ick is when I'm sitting down at a party and then someone starts strumming their guitar or ukulele. <laughs> Those ass people are ick coded. What up, Gen Z? I am Gen Z, because I don't remember when the Twin Towers fell. 9-11, more like. Hey, I, I don't even remember that. <laughs> 
sorry, I'm sorry, I get back on track. He is an adult. Time to stop blaming mommy. Yes, yes, yes! Enough of this, oh yeah, his mom should have cooked him so that he wouldn't be such a little B-I-T-C-H to me, got it. Isn't he literally 63 years old, judging by his face and hair and body and, you know, everything? He's 63 years old and he is not responsible for his own actions? No, he can eat salmon. He should to encourage some brain development because clearly nothing has happened there since he was four years old. Boom, got him. <laughs> Danny says, girl, why didn't he make the nachos himself? Danny, I'm with you. I don't fucking understand why either. It's not that hard to make. Although for her, the emotional effort is very difficult. It's like, don't make her do that. And he's just sitting there watching TV. Oh, yeah, you love to sing your wedding. Get your ass in the kitchen and melt that cheese on that chip. I'm not joking. Get your icky little baby ass in the kitchen and melt some cheese on the chip. He even looks like a baby. If my man refused to eat a dinner I made him, I'd never cook for him again. Exactly. And if you literally cannot eat the food that your significant other makes for you, you have to beg for their forgiveness. You have to try so hard to eat it. You have to try so hard. And if it doesn't work, beg for their forgiveness because that is so insulting. Also, can we stop really quick and appreciate? She didn't private her account. She didn't delete this video. She's not deleting comments. I love her. This is how we silently rage against the machine. The machine in this case being 77 year old iPad baby B-I-T-C-H boy. Cause he should see these comments. The overwhelming majority of society is telling him that his behavior is wrong. And what he's gonna do is what? Sit there and go, oh, they just don't get us, babe. That is what he's gonna go do. Because let's go watch a video where he responded to hate comments about him in the past. You're spending your time participating in your children's lives, and your husband's just a pile of dog crap. I play with my kids every single day. I love them very much. Do you also love your wife, though? Mr. Oh, Snuggie's a bug in a rug. Oh, I'm just snug as a little buggy boy. Go cook me some nachos, mommy. This is how he responds to criticism. This is how he, when people are like, oh, she's doing everything for your kids and you're doing nothing and you're acting like a little baby loser. When people give him like legitimate criticism on how he behaves, his response is, oh, you hate me. Oh, he's so bad. Oh, he's so kind of That's how he reads those comments. So he's reading the other ones like, oh, but they're right, dude. There is no way that you can be laying down with a seven-year-old's comforter wrapped around you, three pillows propping you up on a couch with your iPad there, sitting there with your little baby wrist. I don't know how to say this. Some people, no matter how old they are, are born slash cursed with baby wrist and baby fingers. This is how I could, you know, I can toss a, a bottle back and forth. If I were to pick a bottle up, I'd go like this. And you know, that's normal, okay? But some people with like baby wrist, baby finger syndrome, this is a theory that I'm just inventing right now, but it's true. They would pick it up like this. It's like, why does your body work like that, you idiot? If they're tossing, I'd be like, it's like, do you not have control over your body? Are you just like loosey goosey and you just, like when I write, I write like this, like I'll write like this, okay? A baby wrist, baby finger person would write like this. It's like, you're an adult. Oh, I'm not I'm getting agitated by very non-frustrating things, but I'm getting, no, it is frustrating. Don't negative self-talk myself. I am allowed to be frustrated by babies. Especially when they're 79 years old and they have a wife and I don't even have one wife. This is an impression of me if I had one wife. <laughs> There's so much hatred in me bubbling up from this guy. I'm sorry. People at TikTok, <laughs> girl, he loves you unconditionally. That should make you so happy. <laughs> you see now that men aren't the ones who put the pressure on you. This is one loving, caring, compassionate husband. Hell yeah, TikTok. <laughs> oh, that sick son of a bitch. You should file for divorce right now. He wants you to be happy. <laughs> These comments are my favorite part. So what we see here is a man who reads one negative comment about himself and then finds, scans the internet for great comments about himself so that he can then say, listen, I don't know what his life is like outside of these videos. All I've seen is what's portrayed in these videos. And she's obviously trying to portray him in a great light because that's her husband, that's her man, but her man is looking like a jackass in most of these videos. So it makes you wonder if her selecting the clips to make him look good, he still looks like this. I think that who he is as a person might just be a little bit icky. And that's fine. You know, I guess some people are just like that. Not everybody is so cool and so nice and I don't even have a wife. But I just wanted to go and show that video in case you were wondering. Oh, I wonder if he's gonna take this uh, viral video as legitimate criticism. I don't think so.
the entrance into that room, there's the iconic entrances of Kramer from Seinfeld. There's a uh, Captain America grabbing a trident and stepping out of the shadows. And then we have him doing literally what I was just talking about with his just baby posture. Like when you walk in, it's just like body parts are just like flopping around. It's like he's got too much cartilage. That's what it is. That guy, I can tell he's got too much cartilage. <laughs> what a stupid insult. Bro, you look cartilage coated. <laughs> Oh my god, but he's going, he's just walking into the room criticizing her, and she's secretly recording it, and then he sees that she's recording it. He was walking into this with the energy that we just saw, and now he knows he's being recorded, so now he's putting on, you know, his best behavior. But he's criticizing her for driving around with a passport, so let's just watch. You can't keep driving around with your passport. <laughs> I'm not. That's not the way the world works. <laughs> It's identification. But you will still get a ticket for not having an ID. Does he ever do anything other than sit on that couch? Just a genuine question. These are the three videos that we've seen so far. Does he do anything else ever? Is there a time when he's not sitting on that couch with his athletic shorts and big white t-shirt? Is there a time when he's not sitting on that couch in his little nighttime PJ comfy clothes? There is something so frustrating about a man being snug as a bug in a rug while I feel that he doesn't deserve it. You know, maybe if he loved his wife. <laughs> I'm just saying he doesn't love his wife now. My God. If he wasn't such a little complainer about that, I wouldn't be as uh, ickied out and annoyed by this. But he just walks around going, <laughs> and sitting on the couch. And by the way, he's complaining that she drives around with a passport and not her driver's license. That's what this is. That's why he's calling. Babe, you gotta, you can't drive around with just a passport. By the way, dude, I drive around without a driver's license all the time. I don't even have one because I lost it. I, and I don't know how to get another one because by the way, side note, I'm from Kansas City. I moved to Texas. I have not registered my car in Texas because I'm procrastinating. I'm trying it now. But the problem is I lost my driver's license from Kansas, but now I've been living in Texas for two years. So to get a Texas ID, I have to turn in my old ID, which I don't have. And since I don't have it, then it's just like, okay, we'll use your car registration plus this and this and this. And I'm like, oh, well, I don't have my car registration, but to get my car registered, I have to have a driver's license. So now I have to go do courses and stuff as if I'm getting a driver's license for the first time ever. And every time I get pulled over, I just just tell the officer that and then he says oh and lets me go which is a privilege of my skin and I understand that she's white too and this guy this cracker is being a jerk to her so let's get back to this mayo BTICH baby boy I'm not having an ID I have an appointment on Friday no you don't I swear to God I do you've said that six times I know but I actually need one today I talked to Delilah on the phone and got very irritated with her and then apologized she said that my procrastination skills are impressive. Wow. Wow. Your wife is talking to you. She's trying to communicate with you right now, bro. You immediately shut her down. No, you haven't. You, no, you haven't. You're a liar. No. And then she goes, no, swear to God. And instead of going, oh, okay. He just goes <sighs> and stares like this for literally 10 seconds straight. Might I remind you, by the way, that's his wife. If you can tell me that this is not mean, stupid, icky, annoying, and frustrating. It's those five things. Now, what's this What's this video of him right here? He's off the couch. <laughs> huh? Wait, wait. Yeah, these comments. <laughs> Literally these comments. What? And do you hear the gasp of Brianna, the mom behind the camera? She wasn't expecting him to beam him in the head. He just domes it and he's so excited about it too. By the way, he threw that not soft at his young baby boy. That's like a young child. That's like a toddler. You know, me and baby just hanging around. I know the baby's like laughs for a second, but then at the end, it sounds like a cry. It sounds like it's leading into a sob session. It's just cool. That's just how we do it in this household. What? And by the way, because he's standing up, I thought that he wasn't with the couch. Nah, he is. Here's the thing. This is so difficult for me because on the one hand, I do think kids should have dodgeballs thrown at their head. And that's just my political stance. I think that that should be done. But not by their fathers, by their, you know, older cousins, by their uncles. That's the thing. Older cousins should be throwing dodgeballs at little kids' heads. Those first cousins should not be getting married and pregnant with each other. Because we've already talked about that before. But I don't think a dad should be doing it that hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find videos of her husband. But you know what? Let's give this guy a chance. Here's a video where he's clearly trying to put on a performance, trying to be funny, trying to be charismatic. Maybe our opinion is going to change on him after this. Uh, didn't have to work today, so I'm just going to take a shower, 
and make reels all day. And <laughs> you silly goose. <laughs> Something's funny. I don't know what's funny. <laughs> Starbucks is changing their reward system. <laughs> my name's Brianna and I'm a basic white girl and I have my Ugg boots on and I'm telling all my friends about my Starbucks points. <laughs> Sorry? What's the joke there? Is the joke that you think your wife sucks? Is the joke that your wife's lame? Is the joke that you don't love your wife? Is that the joke? Is that the joke? Cause, cause if that's the joke, I don't think that's funny. I get it, you're straining for content. You're like, oh, I gotta react to my wife's TikTok, so what am I gonna say? Hey, maybe not being a jerk to her. Maybe not being a B-I-T-C-H. It's such a rough day. I'm gonna put my comfy PJs on and I'm gonna eat a toddler cereal in bed. How's that sound? <laughs> She's had a tough day of taking care of your B-I-T-C-H-A-S-S. -S. Sorry, I can't spell it out anymore. Your bitch ass. Oh, I had a rough day, so I'm gonna put my PJs on compared to you who what? Sits on that one couch with three pillows tucked up with a blanket that your wife definitely tucked you in because she's apparently your mother. While you get to sit there and say, oh no, babe, I know this meal that you cooked for me, this salmon, I don't want it. Make me another one, make it again. I want nachos. Yeah, you're right, she's so lame. She's so lame. You're so cool, you're a man. You're a big strong man who's so tough and so strong. You loose cartilage <laughs> mother. <laughs> Be nice to your wife. People ask me, why am I always late? It's because I make 30 reels in the car before I actually go into work. <laughs> It's every single thing that he says. What, so you can't be funny without being mean to your wife? Cause I know, like I know, I know, I know. I'm being hypercritical, but it's because of the context of how he behaves in all of his videos. All of her videos, by the way, those are her videos. Cause it's like, I get, yeah, a couple of those are funny where it's like, oh yeah, I'm making fun of the content that my wife makes on her channel, you know, it's kind of funny. I get that. Every single one, really? You can't say one positive thing about her. It just speaks to the way he looks at the world. He's looking for things to pick apart. He's looking for things to like make fun of. Me, if I'm doing this with my wife, if I had a wife, oh, I would be saying, you can go go and bitch slay. That's funny. If you're a husband who's like aggressively supportive in like a, like a silly way, that's cool. But to tear her down, let's keep going. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's not funny at all. That's like, oops. It's just like, but that's not my voice. You know that, right? Just check. Is that what they sound like? Definitely. Oh, what do you know? Another reel in the car. <laughs> it's usually what it looks like when I come home. I don't understand it. Are you saying that the house is messy? Is that what you're saying? I can't tell because the video is just your wife right up on the camera and saying, that's usually what it looks like when I come home. Oh my God, you know what? I can be, I can be, I can, I can. <laughs> I can be an investigator because we're on her account. I can go find that video. But let me just say real quick, him saying, oh look, another reel in the car. He's like insulting her for this. It's like the joke is, oh, you really doing this? Oh, okay, you think you're something? Oh, okay. As if like what she's doing is invaluable or an interesting output for his wife. It shows that he doesn't care about her hobbies or her interests. <laughs> I'm going way too hard on this guy, I know. But also, I'm not going hard enough. I'm plugging myself into the matrix and finding that video. Oh my God, I found it already. I'm so genius. Okay, last thing I'm gonna say today. So, my, here, let me just show you. Let me just show you what my countertop looks like. Okay. Okay, just, it's just everything from today. Okay, so she has a messy countertop full of like plates with plates with food on them. And then he goes, but that's usually what it looks like when I come home. Hey, she is a mother to three of your kids. Also, she works apparently. Like look, a lot of these videos where he's making fun of her, she's in the car in her nurse scrubs. Oh, good morning. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, you see that? Those are the scrubs of a nurse. Those are nurses scrub, which you know is a classically easy job to have. Nobody ever talks about the long and stressful hours of being a nurse. That's one of those coasting jobs, right? So she works as a nurse and then is also a, I guess, full-time like stay-at-home mom when she's not at work. And he has the audacity to go, oh yeah, the countertop usually looks so fucked when I get it. Hey dude, try doing what you do and then add three kids to it and then add a fourth kid to it who is 87 years old and an ungrateful little jerk. Oh, what does that mean? I don't understand. That's you. I am getting a little bit too frustrated at this. I, here's the thing. I understand, by the way, that it's probably not that serious. I'm probably, you know, I have... A, a lot of subscribers, a lot of people are gonna watch this video. And it's like, does he deserve this? And yes, that's my stance on this. I think that he does, because I think that these videos show that he is being a annoying and icky husband and father. 
Oh, but you don't really know him in his real life. Okay, but from these videos, 100% of what I've seen about him is that. So, you know, I don't like it. <laughs> Actually, I take it all back. We've got one video of him mowing the lawn with a baby strapped to his chest. There go my baby daddy. <laughs> but I do want to stop piling on him. But speaking of bad dads, there's this other thing that I wanted to make a video about. Now that's bad, but it's not creepy. It's not disgusting. It's not horrifyingly cringe. But there is a dad online who fits all of those. And also, I hate him. Y'all know Elon Musk? <laughs> I was gonna make a video about this, but this is actually a perfect segue into it. So recently Elon Musk on Twitter announced that he was like starting this subscription type service. Basically content creators can enable subscriptions and people can like follow them for exclusive content. But in doing this, he posted a screenshot and it showed, you know, his subscribers and stuff, but it also showed something very, very creepy. He was trying to reveal, you know, he makes a bunch of money from the subscriptions, $120,000 a month. But the screenshot included something else, which was his alternate profile. And you can see that right here. That profile picture to the right is a second account. And people did some digging and they found that account. And here's the thing. His defenders would try to say, Oh, somebody just, you know, also used that profile picture on this account. And then they just made it, you know, look like it was it. No, this picture was not like findable through a Google reverse image search. This is not like an image that is findable. That is the only image of it in very low quality in that screenshot. So that when people found that profile and they saw the picture itself, they were able to see like that was the account. So what we're about to show you is from the account, allegedly, in my opinion. But, you know, overwhelmingly evidence would say that it is. I just have to say that because Elon Musk is a litigious B-I-T-C-H. The profile is called Elon Test Ermin Musk. And his first tweet was November 12th, 2022. So late last year. So he's been doing this for a little bit. This is my first tweet, he says. Then, hello, dot, 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 question mark. <laughs> He then responds to this, I don't know what the hell this is talking about. Something, something, pharmaceutical, you're amazing. Okay, so what, so what is this? But that's when it gets weird. Elon Musk tweeted out this picture, man, fucks five million people at once from that website. Then he goes to his alternate account and responds to his own tweet. Is this a real peon video? As if he misspelled thenography, which is weird, but it gets a lot weirder because this is related to him being a dad. How, you might wonder. Because the latest tweet that he had, before, by the way, Elon tweeted the screenshot that showed that this was his account. He said, I will finally turn three on May 4th. You know who else turns three on May 4th? Elon Musk and Grimes' son. I don't know how to say it. The one that's, I guess, pronounced. So he is role playing as his almost three year old son on Twitter, replying to himself with the tweet, is this real pion? If that doesn't give you shivers up your spine, I don't know what would. That is so creepy. Let's look at some other tweets that he had as he role played as his little kid. Allegedly, bro had a net worth of 16 billion USD and risked it all for this. The grippy must have been unfathomable. Wow, what a cool tweet. What a great and upstanding young man. Awesome, Mike, awesome. And then Elon Musk, role playing as his two year old son said, I love librarians. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? He also oddly was tweeting a lot about FTX, which is like this big crypto scandal thing, but he was tweeting it like a baby. Breaking CEO of FTX sister company, blah, blah, blah. I love Hong Kong, yay. You are a middle-aged man pretending to be your two year old son. What is wrong with you? So they just stole all the money about FTX. What money? Shut up. This one is especially weird because it's very like getting into character as the two year old. Biden and motorcade will arrive, blah, blah, blah. Why does he need so many cars? Does he have a big family? Again, a middle-aged man is tweeting this as if he is his two year I cannot emphasize this enough. The TikTok dad is an icky, annoying loser. This is like criminal. <laughs> this is scary. And then this one, just all sorts of uncomfortable. Feels like we were in a nightclub and the lights just turned on. What nightclub were you at? I wish I was old enough to go to nightclubs. They sound so fun. <laughs> it's like, it's giving me the actual shivers. Like I'm actually getting icky, icky feelings here. I gotta, I gotta go cuddle Gus for a second. All right, I'm feeling revived. I have to wear Crocs sometimes, by the way, because Gus goes crazy and bites my toes. He was just in one of those moods before we were filming. Satoshi had the right idea. Do you like Japanese girls? 
Shut up. That's your shut that's your son. Shut up. Also, that's you. Shut up. Do you like Japanese girls? What is wrong with you? Why are you saying that? Why are you saying that as your son? What is wrong with you? This might be my personal favorite though. The collection of nearly 10,000 brains taken without consent from patients who died in Denmark psychiatric hospitals over four decades are untouched by modern medicine. They're a valuable medical resource in an ethical dilemma. A very dystopian, just creepy article title. What does Elon role-playing his two-year-old son say? <laughs> Crypto is confusing. Wow! A Tesla tweet about good Tesla things. This guy didn't get parental approval. This guy has daddy issues. Ugh. He didn't get approval from his father, so he's pretending to be his two-year-old son to give himself approval, making his son a fatherly... F I don't know. I don't know. I don't even want to get into it. And then he went on a little tirade, because I guess his, you know, trillions of dollars aren't enough. He needs attention even on his account, where he's not... No, it was pathetic. Only one person is following me. <sighs> Now no one follows me. <laughs> Wait, that's awesome. That's so pathetic. That is so pathetic, but so funny. To tweet one person's following you and then that person to see it and go, ew, no, I love that. Then shortly afterwards, hello, please follow me. Dude, is your life not enough? Do you not have enough in your life already? To imagine that he's just sitting there in a board meeting, typing as his two-year-old son on Twitter. Uh, uh. Then his final tweets, for the love of God, can someone follow me? <laughs> Pathetic. And then, I will finally turn three on May 4th. Then a little crying laughing emoji. I don't know what it's in response to. And I'll finally turn three on May 4th, which proved that he's role-playing as his two-year-old's son. And that's baseball. If by baseball, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's him? I'm not saying that it's for sure him. Let me see, by the way, I took these screenshots a while ago. Let me see if he still, he might have some new tweets. Well, he's not tweeted since then, but he has liked a picture of Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Oh man, what a weird, just confusing web of oddity. I don't know what that means. And I don't really want to dive into it in my mind and in my soul, but off of first impressions, I don't even want to be around anymore. You tell me in the comments, do you think that's Elon Musk? Because I'm not going to claim it for sure is. Just kind of seems like it. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb though and say that this is very weird and maybe worse than what the TikTok dad was doing. However, you saw how I feel about that TikTok dad. So it's more of a, I really hate this and less than a, oh, he's not so bad. Why can't guys just have kids and then love their wives and not be weird to their kids? I don't understand it. Like what happens? I guess it, they just were always like this. That's terrifying. People like this are just walking around and you don't even know it. I love you. Please subscribe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Cooper on the phone, Cooper on the phone. Oh, what a different thing. I just wanted to say that at the end of this video, here's the thing, here's the thing. Uh, don't send the TikTok dad guy any hate. I mean, it's just, you know, I think this video was enough. We can keep it in our comment section. But also, do you remember when I broke my tiger sign necklace? Well, nothing's ready yet, but I'm actually gonna start like making my own necklaces and I'm selling them. So just keep that in mind, keep that in mind. I don't know, there's no reason to say anything now. I just want to share it because I'm really excited and I am. I'm about to get my first like sample of the, the first necklace. And I think they're really pretty. I think they're really cool. And they've got tiger sign.